Come on, slow and steady. You got it. So guys, welcome to the channel. Unboxing for Banggood. This is the HB Toys. I can't remember what the model number is, but it's the same as um, the Land Rover Defender I done last year, ZP1001 or whatever it is. But there's a link to it in the description. We can get out of the box in a second. This is, I think it's exactly the same chassis. Looks like it's got a different body, but we'll get it out of the box and we'll have a look. It's um, one temp scale, it's four wheel drive, ready to run. It says it's got ball bearings, splash proof electronics, strength shock and oversized tires. Um, the previous one, the shocks were the let down on it. Um, let's see if they've changed that. If not, then, um, well, there's options out there and we'll talk about them in a bit. So in the box you get the instructions. This one is the, um, oh, good question, Beast. ZP1004, that's the one I've done before, the ZP1001. Um, I mean, these two are exactly the same. I don't know why they've got different numbers. That's the same, just like a different body style, but there's your instructions. Probably got parts list and stuff in there. USB charger for the battery, which is probably fitted, and loads of body pins. Transmitter, looks very similar to the Traxxas style ones. Steering trim, throttle trim, on off switch, and steering reverse and normal. Not a bad transmitter, nothing special. And then this is the little truck. It actually looks quite nice. It looks better out of the box than it does on the Banggood website. Something I have noticed. There's a little bit of damage maybe there where it's been knocked. You can't really see it. And then we've got a shock hanging off under there, but looks like the shock cap's just wound off. So not a problem, but I can tell you by looking at that, that they've still not got oil shocks in these, but it does feel like the springs are just as stiff as they were before as well. Anyway, let's fix that shock and then let's have a closer look at the truck. So actually quite a good looking truck, a beast, um, 4x4, a few scale accessories on there. Uh, like I mentioned, the suspension's very stiff. If it's the same as the other one, the steering is very limited as well. Um, tires are a little bit stiff as well. But if I show you, these are the tires off of the previous model. These have been run a few times now, and as you can see, they do soften up. Um, I've vented these as well, so put, um, put a little hole in them there. It just gives you a bit more um, flex on the tire. So you can sort the tires out. There's a little mod you can do to sort the steering out as well, a free mod for that. Um, and you can either cut a little bit off the springs so they're softer, change the springs so they're softer, or buy some really cheap oil shocks, which I've done to my other model. Um, and that makes it much better as well. So loads of free mods you can do to this. It's not gonna cost you anything and it will increase the performance. However, however, as with all my reviews, I'm gonna take this one out completely bone stock just to show you um, how it performs. This has had a little bit of an impact well, it's been in transit by the looks of it. There's a few little white crease marks on it. But overall, looks all right. It's got front and rear LEDs as well, adding to that scale effect. Let's take the body off, let's look underneath. Something I like about this body as well, it's got arch covers, so it doesn't get too messy in there. There's your LED plugs. And underneath, you've got your friction dampers there, a five wire steering servo. It is fully proportional though. Just not very uh, much angle on there, but like I've said, you can change that. Uh, combined ESC in, um, receiver in there. It's splash proof, but not fully waterproof. I have tested that and it's definitely not fully waterproof. You've got your, I think it's a five, it might be a 550 motor under there or a 540, I can't remember. Motor under there, heat sink. 
under here should be a, I think it's a 1500 milliamp hour lithium ion. 1500 milliamp hour lithium ion, let's get that in charge. And then the only thing I don't like about this, I mean it is quite cheap, is it's a bit flexible uh, and it's got weight. So it's got a decent amount of weight to it, but that is because it's actually got some ballast in there. Underneath it's all plastic suspension arms. It has got metal drive shafts that go into uh, the gearbox in there and um, locked diffs front and rear. Now, although it looks cheap and nasty under there, I can tell you that these chassis and that drivetrain can handle quite a bit. I've run my other one 3S. It's been through water, it's been through mud. Yeah, it's gone through all sorts of stuff and that drivetrain was not giving me any hassle at all. Definitely um, okay for trailing and stuff. I've not had any issues with mine at all. Right, let's get the battery charged. Let's plug it in. I'll just show you that steering and I'll show you the lights and stuff and then we'll take it out and I'll show you how it goes. And then what I'm gonna do, as soon as I get back from that first run, I'm gonna do all my little um, uh, mods to it and that'll make it even better. I'll stick a little link up here to a video I've done showing you my other one and I'll also stick a link in the description to the other videos or the playlist. And obviously you'll find a link to this one in the description, right, battery. Right, while the battery's charging, I'm actually gonna show you this mod and I'm gonna do it because it's so quick and easy to do. If you see the steering arm there, when I turn it, you see it butts up against the axle there. So that's what stops it. So what I've done on this side, I mean, there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can get a grinder out, you can take the hub off and cut it. What I do is drill a small hole. So just drill a small hole in there and then get a bigger drill bit and then you can get it rounded out like that. That's probably the strongest way of doing it. And then now when you turn, that little cutout goes in to where the axle was. There you go. There's a free mod for you. You can actually go even further and take the hub apart. And if you file out um, a little bit on that, uh, the inner bit of the hub, you can get even more angle. With it. So battery charged. It's got a little waterproof switch under here. Transmitter is on. Front lights. Rear lights. So you can see it's pretty pants. Even with that mod, I mean, you get a bit more angle, but it's not the best steering, but. It's okay, and for the price, I mean, this is cheap. When the um, the first model come out, the 1001, it was about $100 or so. This is a bit cheaper now. It's about $20 or $30 cheaper, I think. And then proportional throttle. And you got a brake, so forward, brake, and then reverse. One of the complaints I did get on the last one, not so much a complaint, but questions, was the noise it makes, because I think with the electronics in here, it, listen, watch. Sounds quite angry, doesn't it? But it runs fine, and my other one, I've got completely new um, electronics and stuff on that, and it is quite a beast, as it says there. Anyway, let's take this thing out for a run. So we're at one of my preferred spots because we've got a bit of sand, bit of mud, water, grass, the lot. So it should give this thing a good run. It is very windy. I'm trying to protect you from the wind. I've got my wind sock on. Anyway, let's give this thing a run uh, and see what we can do. It's definitely more of a uh, trail truck than a crawler, but it has got a decent amount of power. And with that suspension, it's very bouncy. And the body is very rattly. It sounds like the tires are rubbing on it as well. So a little bit of rubbing on the tires, but um, not too bad. You could trim that a little bit or you could probably adjust the body actually. You can hear that. Look. So I've raised the body up uh, 
one level on the front. It seems to have helped a little bit, but probably could do with going up one more notch, to be honest with you, or trimming the uh, arch a bit. Last time I came here, I forgot my wellies, but today I've got, oh, hello, whoops, <laughs> let's get out of the water. <coughs> but today I've got them, so we can do a bit of mud in. Not a bit much in. <laughs> to be honest, that is a little bit uh, thick. Remember, it's uh, splash proof, not waterproof. Come on, slow and steady. You got it. There we go, speed is not everything. <laughs> this is a cool little bit here, look. We've had loads of rain in the UK and everywhere. It's kind of flooded and waterlogged, but that little pond there is uh, draining down in there. So let's take this thing up, see if we can climb up there. So you'll notice the suspension is horrible and I did mention that um, on the unboxing bit. It's an easy fix, really cheap upgrade. You can get upgraded oil shocks for uh, probably about $10 I think. Makes a massive difference. Nice and slow. Oh. Come on. pretty decent truck um, like I've said I'll leave a link in the description for the other one of these I've got for the video and the upgrades there's a link for this one in there and some cheap oil shocks is all you need for this and it performs um, a lot better obviously the body's been rubbing on it adjust that body or trim it uh, and it's not a bad little truck for the money you're not gonna you're not gonna get like Traxxas quality with this but it's definitely for the less than $100 worth a look cheers for watching see you next time